trying to pick up and convert here. Daniels with pressure. Got rid of it. Man wide open in the end zone. Catching it. Brian Thomas redeeming himself. One of the easiest touchdowns Jaden will throw in his career. With quarter. He's going to throw again here. Steps up. Heaves it deep downfield. He's got Chris Hilton. And he's got a touchdown. Chris Hilton had a couple of steps on Ryan Fields, who just had the penalty moments ago. 47 yards, and LSU goes back in front. Bring that ability to create explosive plays. But on first down, it's an empty backfield. Daniels hits neighbors in stride, and that's a first down and much more. Off the left hip of Daniels, his neighbors goes in motion. They're going to pop it to him again. Neighbors going for the pylon. He got it. Touchdown. Boy, he made that look really easy. Malik Neighbors in from seven yards out. It was the lazy jog over Cality. So they're getting exactly what they're anticipating and wanting from the young freshman. Boy, Diggs. Oh, my. Trying to hurdle Nori Johnson. Eight plays on this series. Six have been running plays. Diggs again, sneaks in there for the touchdown. Logan Diggs, his first touchdown in a Tiger uniform. Getting a win down the road in New Orleans earlier today. And it didn't come easy for Lane Kiffin's group. Jaden Daniels right down the middle for Lacey. Kyron Lacey on his feet inside the 35-yard line. Complete command and... Here's Daniels again surveying. He's going to go to the back of the end zone for Neighbors. It was juggled, but he held on. No, that was Thomas. Thomas got it for the 10-yard touchdown grab right under the goalpost. And for Jaden, can't hold on to the ball long. This needs to be a quick read. Ball has to be thrown in the end zone. That's what he does to the end zone for Lacey. Got it. Touchdown. Grambling two for six tonight on third downs. Crawley being chased, rolling across his body, got it downfield. It's juggled, and who's got it? It looks like LSU does. Greg Penn, the linebacker with the takeaway. Third year as the primary backup. Getting his first reps tonight. Finds a wide open man, caught at the 33. Malik Neighbors still on his feet and now gang tackled at the 26 yard line. 29 yards on the first pass for Nussmeyer. 6'2, 205. He'll hand it off this time. This is Diggs. Finds a big hole up the middle and bangs his way inside the five yard line. They try and sneak it in with Nussmeyer and they got it. Touchdown. Garrett Nussmeyer. But you still need that one-two punch that you can rely on game in and game out. Tight end Pimpton goes in motion. They go back to Jackson. Jackson angles his way into the end zone from five yards out. Man, LSU is five, six deep plus a really good tight end. And now Jackson picking his way, has it. Backs his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Three-yard touchdown run for Caleb Jackson. And that's his second. Second down and goal. And it is Kane walking in for the touchdown. Every drive tonight has resulted in a touchdown for LSU. You remember last week, was it Oregon who put up, uh, what, 80 points, something like that? Yep. Was it versus Portland State, I believe? And it's Ole Miss did that. He always wanted to coach in college as, as the head man, and he's really excited about this opportunity. That snap goes over the head of Jimmy Isles. He's got to chase it through the back of the end zone, and that's going to be a safety.